Welcome back. Uh, if you recognize this section of code here, you'll recognize it as the algorithm section of uh, ICE 9 by Triple Torto. Um, as promised, I said I'd show you how to write a key gen for it, and I said that there was something cool that was uh, asked about a couple times that I was going to include in this video. So, uh, without any further delay, uh, let's jump into it. Here's Notepad. Uh, we know that we're going to need a name. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use argv again. Actually, let's not use argv. Let's go uh, put enter a name. Uh, name equals gets. And then let's go something like total equals zero. Name dot strip with the exclamation point. And now we want to do a loop that takes name from the first character to the second to last character because uh, we remember from here that our algorithm is every character except the last character of our name added up uh, in here it does it in hex and then it converts it and it, it writes it uh, backwards because it uses modular division to convert it and then it flips it around but we're not going to waste our time with all that. So we know that it compares it with capital Z. If it's less than, it jumps over here. Compares it with capital A. If it's greater than, it jumps here. So if it is capital A through capital Z, it's going to add 2C. Uh, otherwise, it just adds it. It then adds 666, multiplies by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, subtracts 23, and multiplies by 9. Um, again, that video is back a uh, couple of videos now because um, I lied about uh, the next video being this video anyways back to here uh, we need name first character to second to last character and we need each byte that's going to get uh, each character in decimal format do letter and we're going to go if letter is greater than or equal to 65, which is capital A in decimal, and letter is less than or equal to 90, which is capital Z in decimal, uh, we're going to go letter plus equal 44, which is 2C in decimal. And now we're going to go total plus equal uh, letter. And, and just because I like to make things look different. We're going to go like that. Okay, now we need to do our maths. Total plus equal 666. Ha ha ha, I'm funny, I used to sign double. Total uh, times equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total minus equal 23, probably the writer's age. Total, I need to learn to type. Times equal 9. Maybe that's how old he is. Um, or the month his birthday's in. Puts total dot to s, converting it to string. Plus, we need to output our name from the fourth character, starts with zero, fourth would be three, to the last character. Uh, negative basically starts at the other end, but in start, instead of saying negative zero, which isn't a number, doesn't exist, it actually, negative one is the last one. Second to last is negative two. Anyways, so that's going to output that for us, and that should do it. Let's go ahead and save that as KGRB. Yes. And let's try and run it. Ruby KG.RB. Enter a name. FJLJ. Here's a code. Let's copy the code. Let's put it in. Check. Good job. Now write a key gen. We just did. Okay, so now let's uh, do that cool thing I was talking about. Let's go Ruby, Ruby script to AXE, keys and RB. Enter a name, FJLJ, blah blah blah. Here's your key, gathering, writing. Now we can go keygen.exe, FJLJ. And it erred. Why it erred, I don't know. Oh, because it took. Enter name, FJLJ. I got a hell ahead of myself there. We didn't use argv, remember? 
Okay, so as you can see, it works. It says enter a name, we enter a name, and it spits out a code. Uh, it gives you this nice, fancy uh, icon here that you can only change if you use a resource modifier, slash resource hacker, whatever you want to call it, and that would change the uh, what you digger. But yeah, there it is. It comes up, and it's going to close as soon as I hit enter, but it's there. Um, what you could do is change here and do something like puts slash n press enter to exit gets file save. Now we have to remake it. There we go. Now we can run it from here and it will be like enter a name after LJ press enter to exit cool alright thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe